Hello and welcome once again. So I'm going to do a video here on iodine and I'm kind of showing this here so people will see. I talked about this a lot. This is what I use. This is the uh, wasabi brand um, from Sea Snacks. And the important main aspect and part of this particular product is this is obviously seaweed but it contains olive oil, sea salt, natural wasabi flavor. So the two uh, highlighted points I want to obviously emphasize on is the olive oil because it's not canola oil, it's not rapeseed oil, it's not soybean oil, it's not any of those that are going to be genetically modified, cotton seed oil, you want to avoid those. And wasabi flavor is what you want because wasabi is something that is actually very powerful. That's an anti antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal. I've done a video on this, so if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out. But this is the brand that I prefer. Is it still considered a processed food because in a package? Yes. However, is it going to give you enough iodine, which our bodies need? And it's not going to show it on here on the nutrition label, but that's what seaweed is known for. And this one little tiny package is going to deliver enough iodine. I personally have been eating um, one, usually two in most cases of this particular product. And I usually prefer this brand. And like I said, this whole entire package, which is not very much, does taste really actually uh, pretty darn good and the only reason I'm letting everyone know this is if you get the regular seaweed it's going to be really salty you're going to have to drain the salt out I've done it this you don't have to do any of that it's obviously you know GMO free because it doesn't have those uh, oils in there and even if you're using um, expeller press canola oil it's still not good for your thyroid the whole point is you want to help your thyroid along with other nutrients copper and and getting away from bromine getting away from the toxic fluoride and tap water because that's typically added to the water and not typically it is and it's not naturally occurring so those are very toxic bromine is definitely very very toxic and that's also in tap water and you want to avoid those um, for proper thyroid health. But as far as the seaweed, this is what I would suggest. Once again, sea snacks, and I wouldn't say they're necessarily addictive, but they do taste pretty darn good. And um, like I said, they are made with olive oil and nothing, once again, I want to stress, that's going to be genetically modified that the body will not recognize um, because it has been artificially made and there's no artificial flavors and that is what you need if you want to get proper iodine. I would avoid regular dried seaweed, the kind that's made with uh, basically the, the wraps for sushi because those can contain a very very high amount of iodine so you really don't know how much to use. This one like I said just the whole little small package which is the size right here just 0 0.180 ounces. I use about two of these a day. Any questions, go ahead and let me know. Thank you.